So the Orleans was created in 1996 and is inspired by New Orleans. As far back as I can. So right now we're at the Orleans Hotel and Casino for the first time ever. We're about to check in. So today we're staying at the Orleans in Las Vegas, another Sam Boyd owned property, just like the California. The team was nice enough to hook us up with this comp in this room and another awesome stay. <sighs> Funny food. Ugh. Much better. Okay, as I was saying before the food withdrawals, we're staying at the Orleans and before we got here, we actually had an awesome tour of the Neon Museum before business hours. So we got to film there. They're very strict about filming there, so I want to thank them for inviting us. Recording live from the Neon Museum in Las Vegas. Who don't know the Neon Museum is a museum that collects all the old signs of former Las Vegas hotels and casino properties. So all the epic, beautiful neon signs and the historic signs that are no longer here. They live at the Neon Museum and you can pay like around $20 admission to go tour the property, see the beautiful signs either at night or during the day like we did. At night, they're lit, a lot of them are lit up and they look beautiful and it's, it's a great place to take pictures while also taking in the amazing history of these beautiful places in Las Vegas that are no longer here. So after Neon Museum, we zoomed over to the Orleans, got this amazing comp room by the team, thanks guys, and we actually met Sam Boyd, who is the grandson of Sam Boyd, the Sam Boyd, the namesake, of many of these famous amazing properties in Las Vegas. And then him and his team, they kind of showed us all around the Orleans and we saw the arena here. We got to see the casino floor and learn about the property. And it was really eye-opening, especially for the first time ever stepping foot in the Orleans. So the Orleans was created in 1996 and is inspired by New Orleans. So that's the general kind of style here, the aesthetic. And besides your typical features you'll find in a casino, it has things like a movie theater, it has a bowling alley, and an arcade, and it has a daycare, which isn't open right now, but it basically has this business that operates like a daycare. So if you have kids, you bring your kids here, you can bring them to the daycare if you're going out on the strip or something like that, or you just want some alone time. And that's something I haven't really seen anywhere else, so that's pretty unique. And overall, really cool, really cool place here. We also got to see the best room at the Orleans, which is known as the Stardust Suite, located on the top floor. It's a couple doors down over here. But it's a beautiful big room with a balcony, a dance floor, some artwork that pays homage to the Stardust Hotel and Resort that was closed in 2006 and imploded in 2007. That was also a Boyd property at one time. So uh, they paid some homage to it with the Stardust Suite. So that was really cool to see as well. Beautiful, beautiful room. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> we just saw One Republic at the Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood and we just got back and I'm just so beat. I'm so tired right now. It was a great concert though. 10 out of 10. Very fun. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I gotta go to sleep though. I've that's it. See you. See the camera tomorrow. So before we do head out of here this morning, we did want to show you a standard room here at the Orleans. So come on, we're going downstairs. We're gonna find one. Let's go. This window in the bathroom here. It's kind of nice, yeah. Not a bad little room here. Not a bad little room. Yeah, this is I nice like the painting here, the uh, New Orleans painting. back in the suite we have to go home now but just wanted to wrap up some thoughts wanted to end this video now the orleans has a lot to offer it's a very big property and unfortunately we didn't get to show you everything there is at this place on this vlog you know there's a lot to experience but after spending a lot of time here it's clear to us that the orleans is another valuable off the strip property and option for people and what stood out to us most was probably the fact that this place was so crowded it was so packed. There was just a vibrant energy to this place, you know? Needless to say, the or New Orleans style of this place is very unique as well. And overall, we really like this place. I think it offers something that the other off the strip properties don't offer in the proximity to the strip. It's very close to the strip, but it has its own identity here. But it's so close, whereas a place like Green Valley Ranch, Red Rock, and even South Point, you know, they're a little bit too far from the strip compared to this place. With that said, I, I want to keep it short. If you guys love the new the Orleans, <laughs> or if you have any questions or anything, just please leave them in the comments. We'll make this a place, a forum to share what makes new the Orleans. I keep saying New Orleans. <laughs> to make we'll make this a place to. I, that's it. I'm ending the video. I can't talk. Just comment below. Love for the Orleans. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog.